His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa toured the Bahrain International Circuit during the commencement of the 20th edition of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. His Royal Highness highlighted the significance of the BIC hosting the Formula One on the 20th anniversary of the region's inaugural Formula One race. This milestone marks a pivotal moment to, that established Bahrain as the home of motorsports in the Middle East. He highlighted the kingdom's capabilities and the efforts of the Bahraini workforce who are the foundation to achieving success in various sporting events, particularly in Formula One, and to achieve the kingdom's comprehensive development goals, led by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness toured the team's pit lane and track and met with senior F1 officials, the team managers and drivers, as well as organizers. He was also briefed on the preparations for the final race. His Royal Highness affirmed that the Kingdom's position in hosting and organizing international championships and events is a testament to the dedicated efforts of the Bahraini workforce and their contributions across various fields. He commended the commitment of the Bahraini workforce to ensure the success of the F1 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024. His Royal Highness expressed his best wishes for the success of the BIC in hosting the opening round of this season's Formula One World Championship through the F1 Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024 and wished all participating teams success in the race. His Royal Highness expressed thanks and appreciation to the tireless efforts in organizing and hosting this year's Grand Prix. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, led Bahrain's delegation participating in the 47th meeting of Arab Ministers of Youth and Sports in Egypt. The Secretary General of the Arab League, Ahmed Abul Ghayt, attended the meeting. Upon his arrival, His Highness Sheikh Khalid was received by Bahrain's Ambassador to Egypt, Fawziya Zainal, and senior officials. His Highness expressed thanks to Saudi Arabia for its efforts during its presidency of the previous session of the meeting, wishing Jordan success in presiding over the current session. He also thanked Egypt and the Egyptian Minister of Youth and Sports, Dr. Ashraf Sahbi, for their hospitality and commended the Arab League for its efforts in consolidating joint Arab action and unifying the efforts of all member states to support Arab youth in all domains. His Highness affirmed Bahrain's keenness to enhance collaborative Arab efforts in youth and sports, highlighting the nation's support for these sectors through various initiatives aimed at empowering the youth. He emphasized the youth's pivotal role in the development of Arab countries, expressing thanks to the General Secretariat of the Arab League for organizing the meeting. In the presence of the Representatives Council Speaker Ahmed Lamsalam, the Chairman of the Shura Council Ali Saleh, and a number of ministers and officials, the concluding ceremony of the Economic Decision Makers Program was held. Al Saleh delivered a speech in which he affirmed that His Majesty the King's support to national small businesses contributed to the development of the national economy. He highlighted the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to implement Bahrain Economic Vision 2030 hailing His Royal Highness's directives to begin consultations to formulate Bahrain Economic Vision 2050. The Chairman also commended the efforts of Bahrain's Small and Medium Enterprises Society to support entrepreneurship and enhance the skills of Bahraini youth. During the ceremony, 26 entrepreneurs and small and medium enterprise owners were honored. The Judicial and Legal Studies Institute celebrated the graduation of 44 lawyers who successfully completed a six-month intensive training program as part of the main training program for new lawyers. 
On the occasion, the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf Nawaf al Maouda affirmed that the continuity of six and success of the program reflects the Institute's keenness on the development of its content and the upgrade of the implementation approach to ensure it follows up on all justice and legal developments. The minister expressed thanks and appreciation to the instructors, experts and institutions that participated in the implementation of the program. The first deputy chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Fakhrum, met with the federal deputy and president of the Bahrain Brazil parliamentary group, Eduardo Bolsonaro. He highlighted the significance of parliamentary diplomacy in enhancing relations with global nations and building effective regional and international cooperation. Fakhrum showcased Bahrain's legislative authorities' openness to the world, emphasizing Bahrain's role in building relations for further economic development and trade exchange with other nations. He noted the deep bilateral relations between Bahrain and Brazil across various fields. The federal deputy commended Bahrain's ongoing development and achievements, acknowledging its prominent international status in human rights, democratic practices, and legislation. He affirmed Brazil's interest in developing relations with and ties with Bahrain politically, economically, and legislatively. The Bahrain International Circuit invited fans of the Formula One Gulf Air Bahrain Grand Prix 2024 to come and enjoy all the activities of the first round of the Formula One World Championship, which will continue until Saturday. This year's race was launched under the title 20 Years of Making History to coincide with the celebration of the 20th anniversary of the BIC hosting Formula One races in the kingdom. This year's race also kicks off as the opening round in the calendar of the new Formula One 2024 season, consisting of 24 races on the FIA calendar. And in the coming days, the BIC will be the focus of world attention for the start of its historic race. The Ministry of Interior have taken all security measures and procedures necessary to ensure the success of the Formula One season. More on this report. The Formula One race is a major landmark in the field of international car sports. The race is celebrated by the Bahrain International Circuit this year as it marks 20 years of hosting Formula One races. In line with the role of the Ministry of Interior and the commitment of relevant departments to perform their duties in organizing and securing the race, necessary security measures have been taken, implementing pre-established plans to contribute effectively to the success of the championship. Moreover, insurance plans have been thoroughly studied and trained for, and preparations have been made for security services, emergency plans, cooperation and full coordination to deal with any emergencies in coordination with the circuit management. Customs Affairs have also completed all procedures related to the participating teams entering and leaving the country within a specified period. The Bahrain police possess numerous experiences and expertise acquired through securing this global sporting event annually. This reinforces Bahrain's capabilities and expertise in organizing major tournaments and events on a global level. The 8th edition of the Bahrain Food Festival witnessed a remarkable turnout, attracting over 227,000 attendees over 20 days. This marked a substantial 35% surge compared to the previous year's 168,000 visitors, solidifying its status as the largest edition to date. The CEO of Bahrain Tourism and Exhibitions Authority, Sara Bahudji, noted that the success of this year's event can be seen in the substantial turnout of visitors to the festival this year. She commended Team Bahrain's relentless efforts in organizing such a groundbreaking event. She said that the annual progression of Bahrain's food festival is a sign of the sector's advancement and prosperity, which was made possible through the support and sponsorship of Bahraini entrepreneurs. She said that the joint venture is expected to benefit the national economy and further strengthen the kingdom's position as a regional and international tourist destination.